all know that people really can fly. To create that, you work with the actor uh, in motions, in aerialography, I call it. It's choreography in the air. And when they hit a certain point, you just need to angle your body. One of the hardest parts of, of making somebody fly is making it look natural. But when you focus on the actor and have him or her work with the movement and make it look like they're motivating it, then it's gonna look smoother. I'm working on this production of Joseph. It's an original production. It's in a dream sequence, and what he does is he flies around the stars and the sun and the moon. If your foot hits it, it still looks cool because you're just melting right back into the rock. During today's rehearsal, I was finessing with the actor how to react to all of the actions. Every time he would fly in one direction and then he would have to turn around, we were finessing how to turn, how to make every motion that he does natural. And this is where you dip down, and then you'll come up, look at the star, fly over to here, and now when you start to turn, turn your shoulder and lean into it. There you go. As you back up, try and put your hands out like you're slowing yourself down. Because if you were going backwards... It's a little bit like a mime, because you're miming what it would feel like to push off the air. Um, so I worked with them today on, on cleaning that up and giving them an action and a reaction to all of the emotions so they don't look like they're just hanging there because nobody wants to see <laughs> a piece of meat with a nice Technicolor coat on. I sit in the back of the house or I sit house left or right and I look at all the sight lines to make sure that whoever's sitting where is seeing the same thing um, in a believable form.